when traveling across the wastelands, remember, always pack your guitar and your katana. Yes, today, ladies and gentlemen, on day 135 of the year of vlogging dangerously, we are going on a journey to become the new king of rock and roll with six string samurai. This 1998 gem of a movie was, I'll tell you right now, a complete and utter bloody bomb. What happens when you hand two guys who have a great idea for us for a movie, but have next to no experience with making one? Two million dollars, tell them to make a movie. Well, you get a beautifully shot, wonderfully conceived piece of insanity that makes less than 6% of its money back. Yeah. Uh, Six String Samurai came, uh, comes to us from the minds of Jeffrey Falcon, who is a martial arts stunt guy from a bunch of uh, movies over in Hong Kong. He was a Hong Kong wire food martial arts star or a guy for a while um, in all throughout the uh, the 90s um, and then he got together with his buddy Lance Mungia who let's see what Lance has done Lance has made wow he uh, <laughs> he made one of the crow movies yeah he directed one of the crow movies and next to nothing else at all um, and it wasn't even The Crow. He did one of the sequels, one of those horrible, horrible sequels. Uh, so these two guys get together and they, they write a movie. And this movie has a little bit of it all for anybody who's truly, utterly, and completely insane. It is a post-apocalyptic Wizard of Oz, Elvis uh, versus, or rock and roll versus communism, martial arts, uh, monster movie with cavemen. And bowling guys and death. <laughs> it's it's seriously and utterly and completely warped and twisted beyond belief. It's it's it follows the journey of um, a man who may or may not be an alternate universe, Buddy Holly, uh, wandering the wastelands of an, an alternate realities version of Nevada, trying to get to the Emerald City of Las Vegas to become the new king of rock and roll after Elvis has died. Now, I love the continuity screw-up on IMDb. It says it's an alternate 1960s Nevada. The opening of the movie basically says that in 1957, Russia dropped the bomb on America. And there's one free city left after the, post after the Russian invasion. And 40 years later, Elvis dies. But it's set in the 1960s. Unless it was four years later and they fucked up, or unless my brain doesn't read right sometimes. But this is what we're presented with. It's now Buddy Holly's quest to get to the get to there, and he's accompanied by this annoying brat of a kid. You know that little guy, the little feral kid, in Mad Max. You know, an actually successful post-apocalyptic movie about a wanderer. Yeah, that little kid. Picture that little kid if all he could say for most of the movie was. And you've got his accompanist. <sighs> it's this is a movie chock a block full of ridiculously crazy characters, nineteen uh, fifties riffs, um, pop culture is jammed everywhere in this thing, and it has definitely got elements of the Wizard of Oz to it. Although you don't have a cowardly lion or a wizard or any of that stuff. It's just, you know, when you see Vegas finally revealed, you get that picture. And Buddy Holly fights everything from uh, windmill worshippers to uh, the entire bloody Russian army. And it's fantastic. Jeremy Falcon's actually a pretty adept martial artist, uh, from what I can tell in this, at least in the movie sense of things. He puts on a good show. He's good with a katana, good with his fists. It's, it's fantastic. I definitely recommend this for anybody who's got a little bit of a lunatic in them as far as movies go. I love... It's got a cult following, and this is definitely the epitome of the cult following, because as, as I said, this movie made less than six, or made just a shade over, sorry, a shade over six percent of its budget back in the theaters and then it's it's all over the place for DVD. It's hard to find now and it was hard to find when I found it, but in cult movie status it's one of those sought after ones. Um, and there's not much more to say. Just look, watch, oh my god it's crazy. And if you're looking down below here in this area, 
Yeah, right about there. See what I'm tickling right now? That's a, a photo I picked up at Emerald City Comic Con, a print I picked up at Emerald City Comic Con that was framed by Dr. Bob Ross Watch for me last week, and I've yet to hang on that place right up there. It's going up there. Yeah. But I haven't got, I didn't, it only occurred to me at 10 o'clock today that would be the perfect place for it, and I didn't want to like hammer into the wall at 10 o'clock at night um, in the room above where my landlady sleeps. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's me for today. As usual, I've been the Zero Killer. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, you know where to put them. Put them in the comment section below. And I am going to uh, watch the download of Diablo 3 that took, you know, freaking the entire length of the movie to start. Seriously, guys, if you're going to develop a game for 10 years, maybe you want to sign the right people to making your downloader work. Just maybe. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow.